All right, if I'm cringy enough doing that drama alert intro, I'll never be doing something like that again. But we got a pretty interesting video for you guys here today. If you guys have seen the previous video where I got banned for walking around on a server, go check that out now, because that's kind of like a little precursor to all of this. But I've been following the server for a little bit now after that incident, and I wanted to see how this would have expanded if anything would happen. And sure enough, today, while I was out, I got a bunch of Discord messages, and when I came home, I saw that there were currently alleged accusations against netherite.gg, stating that they use bots on their server to inflict their player base. Now, at the time of recording this video, there is no explicit evidence against them using bots on their server. All we have right now is the fact that they are stating that it may have been a raid on the server. I have no actual proof against that. There has been no showing of IPs of these bots. There's been no showing of any of the player names. Nothing has been coming out against that. Right now, what we do have, though, is right here a conversation with a manager and a now former staff member. A lot of staff has actually resigned today, apparently. I'm not sure what the reason is behind that, but a lot of staff have resigned. What we do have here is the former staff member stating that he's a bit confused on why this large YouTuber is being paid to bring in players when they have approximately a hundred alts, making it look like there are more players than there is. The manager says, why would you choose between a server that has a hundred players? And I would assume that there's a server with less than a hundred players. More players would probably bring more people to get on the server. You want to play on a place that's populated. We understand that. And he says, well, let's be real here. Everyone would choose 200, but why lie to the players, making them think that there are more than there is? But he completely understands why they're all doing it. Kind of smart, not going to lie. Now to break it up right here, if you have more players in your server, you will rise to the top of many server lists on like minecraftserverless.com and all the other server directories out there you can take a look at, you'll rise to the top more players or eyes being placed on your server. It's just a logical explanation for it. Manager comes back and says, well, all servers do this. You won't find one that doesn't. Keep it as a tip for your future staffing references. Otherwise, you'll be greatly disappointed. He's saying that he was the same when he was younger, thinking that spoofing is bad, which it is, but he says it's honestly better than just not spoofing, which come on now. I mean, you don't, if your server is good enough and has good content on it, that will bring players in. If you're constantly giving better content that's great with good updates and less pay to win stuff, which again, yes, Netherite is a pay to win server. It has been on my radar for just a little bit now, but here's all of their beautiful pay to win things on there with rank kits, with everything from overpowered armor and weapon kits to being able to buy more claim blocks and even able to buy crate keys, which only gives you a chance at getting good items. Yes, they do have the percentages in game, but this is a lot of children that play on these servers. Come on now, you know that's going to happen. They're going to be more enticed to buy these things because they have a chance of getting a greater item, buying more of the crate keys, and that's going to give you way more money off of that. You're profiting off children going in and opening up your crate keys. And since these messages have become public now, this manager has officially stepped down from the server stating that he doesn't feel like he's been doing good enough, which is very fishy timing to find out that one, say that someone was raiding their server to uh, allegedly, I'm seeing right now, cover up the fact that there were bots in the server. Everything's been removed right now. Apparently the server's down for a little bit earlier. There could have been anything right now. All of this is currently speculation. But the fact that all of this happens at the same time next to, uh, as I've seen so far, a lot of their staff members have stepped down. There's been about four or five staff members added like literally today before this video came out stepping down and there seems to be a lot of things going on behind the scenes right now. So I will leave it as an open letter to anybody from the Netherite GG staff that wants to reach out. Trendline, you can reach out to me if you want to as well if you want to. Any of the players on the server have any experiences or anything going on in the server that you think is wrong, you can always reach out. Discord is linked in the description below. You can talk about the server as much as you want and there. You can talk about any server you want in my Discord. There is no censorship going on in there. We will not be deleting anything about the other servers that you're talking about there's no reason to be doing that if bad things are happening people should know about them and that's gonna do it for me right now guys thank you guys so much for watching this very quick video this is probably the soonest i've ever recorded a video to publishing but i really do appreciate it guys thank you guys so much for watching getting your daily dose of vitamin p if you guys want more daily doses of vitamin p please check out the rest of the videos on my channel below if you guys want to see more minecraft videos there's a couple of playlists linked there on the channel and a couple of videos probably popping up right now if you want to go check those out and i will see you guys in the next one peace out and take care